Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Karen. I hope you've all had a fantastic week. Um, I have Freya, my practice hand, out this week to have a play on, do some autumnal kind of nails. Um, so I have her resting on a sort of like a, a manicure kind of rest. Um, it's just a normal arm rest and I have her little nails all ready to go. Um, all sort of buffed and prepped and all that there. So it's very realistic feeling. It's really strange. Um, but I'm going in first with, this is Victoria from Bling Line, and it is a beautiful taupey kind of mushroom colour. So I thought I would leave this um, portion here in real time just to show you guys um, just how much I sort of take my time whenever applying my colour gels. Um, I really do like to take my time to make sure that everything is nice and neat um, around the cuticle and side walls um, just to sort of make sure I don't touch the, the skin as well too with any of that uncured product. So um, like I say, I much prefer to take my time and get it right than sort of rush just because of timing. So whenever I've applied that first layer, I then go in for a cure and then I will apply a second layer and cure it as well too. Okay, so moving on to the pointer and the pinky and I'm going to be using another uh, bling line color here. This is called Lissa, I think it is. And it is a beautiful, oh my goodness, it's so stunning. It's like a kind of like a, a burnt sort of rusty, um, coppery color it is just perfect for autumn so this time I have sped this up a little bit um, and again I'm just sort of going through the same process just making sure that it's um, a nice thin layer and applied really neatly again round side walls and cuticles so just sort of um, applying that as level as I can and then once I have finished the both the pointer and, the, and the, the pinky, I will go in for a cure and repeat those steps again. And I just thought that I would actually leave in putting on this second coat because I just wanted you guys to see just how beautiful the pigmentation is in this hard gel colour that it's coming through and with that second coat. It is just amazing the depth of this color such a beautiful color if you don't have it you have to have it in your collection i also have a discount code which is karen hashtag 10 if you're wanting to make a purchase from the little nail shop so um yeah it's a gorgeous color Okay, so moving on to the next step, I'm taking my Nat Mug Detailer brush and I'm going to be using some Lissa again to draw a sort of brunch-like design. And I'm just going to go in for a very quick cure to set that once I'm happy with it. And coming back in then with my bling line, this is my cool one-step gel. And um, I'm just going to be putting a very, very thin layer of it down on the, um, both the ring, what would be the ring finger and the middle finger. And um, this is just a really, really thin layer, almost like a sort of slip layer. Um, because we want to sort of keep these base layers thin, or that's what I want to do anyway. Um, that's the goal for this here, because I am going to be encapsulating glitter, so I like to keep my base as thin as possible. So as you can see, I'm just putting on that really nice thin layer there um, over Victoria. And next then I'm going to be going in with these really pretty little leaves. And I'm going to be putting a couple just underneath the branch um, as if they're kind of, you know, um, on, on the tree. And then I'm going to be going in then with some of the copper leaf and just kind of placing it randomly. The camera will come into focus here. Um, but I usually just sort of you know, place a little bit and then sort of keep picking at it and just sort of break it up. And again, on this nail, I sort of wanted to give the impression that it was almost like a little kind of pile of autumn leaves. So um, this is why I sort of wanted to put in some of the copper leaf. And, um, and then I just wanted them to apply um, some little leaves up that nail as well too. So that's going to be my first layer. And then I'm just going to go in for a cure once I have everything in place. Thank you. 
Okay, and then going in then again with a slip layer over um, both the pointer and the pinky finger. And again, it's just a nice wee thin slip layer because I am going to be applying some glitter to those. So um, I'm going to be adding uh, this glitter here, which is called It's Fall Y'all, again, available from Neil Sugar. And I'm just going to be adding it sort of in a diagonal design a uh, sort of diagonal direction um, on both the pointer and the pinky. Okay, so I'm just going in with a second layer over that middle finger and um, just kind of um, I'm going to be adding some little extra bits of glitter to kind of fill in just any little blanks there just to make sure that the bundle of leaves looks quite full. So um, I just sort of flash cure that then um, for a um, for a few seconds really and then I start to encapsulate. So. I kind of do this obviously one finger at a time. If I was working on a real hand, I would be sort of swapping hands at this point. So, um, so yeah, I'm just going in with a bead, making sure that everything is covered. Again, with a second bead there too, because I would just rather make sure that everything's encapsulated and covered than have to go in um, with some more. So um, once I'm happy with that, then it will go in for a cure. Okay, so once the nails are out of the lamp, obviously they're going to have their inhibition layer on. So I'm just going to wipe all that off now and go over each of the fingers, get all that there removed. And once that's all wiped off, then I'm going in with my file and I'm just going to give them a file and a refine as well too with the buffer. And just make sure that everything is nicely shaped and I'm happy with that. So. Um, so yeah, so once that's done, then I'm just going to um, clean everything and go in with my Bling Line Tack Free Top Coat and just take my time and apply that there. Um, just seeing all that glitter come to life, I absolutely adore it. Those colours are so nice, um, as well as the little leaves too. So I just love seeing everything top coated. It's so pretty. And there we go guys, that is the finished look. I hope you like it. Um, I absolutely adore autumnal colours, so I had such a blast doing this set. But thank you so much indeed guys for watching. Have a wonderful week. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And um, I will see you all again next time. Take care. Bye.